We have another strategy of solving quadratic equations by factoring, and that is by using the trial and error method. This method can be used when the leading coefficient of x squared is not 1, and the sum of the factors of the constant term is not equal to the leading coefficient of the linear term. Let's have this as our example. First is we are going to write first the, or prepare two parentheses, where we are going to write our factors equal 0. And then prepare our working area. So first is think of the factors of 3x squared. And these are 3x times x. Okay, and then we write these factors here. And then after that, we think of the factors of negative 2. And this can be 2 times negative 1. Or it could be negative 2 is equal to negative 2 times 1. So let's have these two factors. Say so we place 2 here and then negative 1 here. Let's try if this yields a correct factor by getting the product of the outer terms and the inner terms. So 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. 2 times x is equal to 2x. Adding them, negative 3x plus 2x equals negative x. Negative x is not equal to our linear term 5x. So meaning to say, these are not the correct factors, so we try again. Kaya nga siya tinawag na trial and error kasi kapag magkamali ka or mali yung mauna mong masulat na factors, magtatry ka ulit. So i-erase natin to. What if... I Ilipat natin ang positive 2 dito at negative 1 naman dito sa kabila. Okay. Erase natin to. Okay. So, ang positive 2 ilalagay dito and then we have negative 1 here. Then, we are going to get the product of the outer terms and the inner terms. So, 3x times 2 equals 6x. Then, negative 1 times x is negative x. I-add natin yung resulting products para malaman natin kung mag-equal ba siya sa linear term natin o hindi. 6x plus negative x is equal to 5x. Now, it is equal to our linear term. So, therefore, 3x minus 1 and x plus 2 are the correct factors. So, i-raise ko itong part na ito para makapag-proceed tayo sa zero product property. Okay? Now, we are going to apply the zero product property to solve for x. So, equate each factor to zero. Okay. Then, transpose negative 1 here. It becomes positive 1. What's left here is 3x. We need x. So, we need to isolate it by dividing both sides by 3. So, x now is equal to 1 third. Here, transpose positive 2. It becomes negative 2. So, our x equals negative 2. Okay, that's how we do it. Very easy. How about item number 2? Notice that the coefficient of our x squared is negative. So as much as possible, when we make use of factoring method, our coefficient, leading coefficient, must be positive. So let's make a way that it will be positive by multiplying all terms by negative 1. I-multiply muna natin siya sa negative 1 para ang coefficient ng x squared ay maging positive. So, negative 1 times negative 6x squared becomes positive 6x squared. Negative 1 times positive x is negative x. Negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. Then, of course, negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Okay? And that's the time we prepare now our two parentheses where we write our factors and prepare the working area. So, what are the factors of 6x squared? Okay? Actually, pwede natin gamitin ng 6x times x. Kaso, kung titingnan natin yung ating coefficient ng linear term, 1 lang, pagkatapos ang ating constant ay 2, mukhang hindi. Mukhang masyado siyang malaki kung gagamitin natin si 6. What if we have here 3x at saka 2x? 3x times 2x. So, iligay natin siya dito, 3x times 2x. Ngayon, ang ating constant term ay hindi na positive 2, kundi itong negative 2. So, ano ang factors ng negative 2? So, we have positive 2 at saka negative 1 ulit, or it could be negative 2 
times 1. Gamitin natin to. Say, positive 2 ito dito. Ito, negative 1. Okay. Kunin natin ang product ng outer terms at saka inner terms. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Gamit ako ng yellow. Okay. Ito ay magiging negative 3x. Okay. Ito naman, 2 times 2x is equal to 4x. Adding them, negative 3x plus 4x is equal to x. And that is now equal to our linear term. So, ibig sabihin, ito na ang ating tamang factors. Hindi na natin ito itatry pa. So, erase ko na ito para ma-apply natin ang zero product property. So, we have 3x plus 2 equals 0. We have 2x minus 1 equals 0. We transpose natin ang positive 2, magiging negative 2. So, we have here 3x. And then, kailangan natin ng x. So, divide both sides by 3 para ma-isolate si x. So, x now is equal to negative 2 thirds. How about this? O, ilipat natin si negative 1, magiging positive 1. We have 2x here. So, kailangan natin si x. So, isolate it by dividing both sides by 2. Dapat ang final value ay wala ng leading coefficient aside sa 1. So, we have 1 half. So, these are the solutions of this quadratic equation. Now, I want you to try this on your own. Okay? I'll be giving you a few minutes to do that. Okay? Then, please pause the video for a while and after answering, play it again. Okay, so let us check. Now, the leading coefficient of x squared is positive. Okay, so we can now prepare our parenthesis. Equals zero. Prepare the working area. So what are the factors of 5x squared? So we have 5x times x. And then write it here, 5x times x. And then we have positive 12. Then you consider negative 23, okay? In thinking of the factors of 12. So, any factors ng 12? Pwede siyang maging 4 times 3. Or pwede siyang maging negative 4 times negative 3. Okay. Gamitin muna natin to. Pero take note ha, negative, it, negative ito. So, most probably, hindi ito. Pero try muna natin para makita nyo na hindi siya pwede. Halimbawa, ang lagay natin dito, obviously, 20 ito, di ba? 20. So, kailangan kong ilagay dito si 4 at dito si 3. So, kailangan na visualize nyo ng pag-multiply ng outer terms at saka middle, na ka inner terms. So, we have both positive sila. 5x times 4 is 20x. 3 times x is 3x. Adding them, we have positive 23x. But looking at this linear term, ano ang sign niya? Negative 23. Pareho nga silang 23, pero ang sign na magkaiba. So, hindi pa rin tama. So, ibig sabihin niyan, pwede natin gamitin ang next factor. Halimbawa ay, ano, not halimbawa, ang positive 3 ay magiging negative 3 at ang positive 4 ay magiging negative 4. So, you have negative 3, negative 4. Okay? So, later makukuha nyo rin yung technique. Kung masyadong malaki dito, so, ibig sabihin, factor mo yung bigger factor dun sa uh, bigger factor also. Okay? Anyway, it depends. Okay? So, 5x times negative 4 is equal to negative 20x. And negative 3 times x is equal to negative 3x. Adding them, we have negative 23x. And that is now our linear term. So therefore, these are the correct factors of this quadratic equation. And then, let's erase this first before moving on to our zero product property. Okay? So, equate each factor to 0. 5x minus 3 equals 0 x minus 4 equals 0. So, we have 5x is equal to 3. We need x, so isolate it by dividing both sides by 5. So, we have x equals 3 fifth. Then, we have here x is equal to, transpose this, this becomes positive 4. I hope you got it correctly. Okay? How about item number 2? Okay? The coefficient of x squared is positive, so we can just prepare our two parentheses here and our working area. 
Okay. So what are the factors of 3x squared? These are 3x times x and write it here. And then what are the factors of negative 8? Look at that. We have also have negative, fact, negative coefficient here. So most probably we have 4 times 2. Then one, the other one could be, okay, we'll have the negative 4. Or we could have 4 times negative 2. We could also have 8 times 1 or negative 8 times 1. Okay? So, pag hindi mag-work on yung mga naunang factors, pwede ito mga kasunod. Okay, let's try negative 4 at saka 2. Negative 4, kung lalagay natin si negative 4 dito, so magkakaroon tayo ng negative 12. At ilalagay natin dito si 2, positive 2. Okay? Ang lalabas dyan ay negative 10x. So, hindi pwede. Kahit pa maging positive ito at ito negative, hindi pa rin siya mag-equal sa negative 5x. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay hindi pwede. Okay? Ganun din ito. So, let's try another one. Itong 8 times 1. Okay. So, kung ilalagay natin dito si 8, Masyado ng malaki. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So, ilalagay natin dito si 8. Halimbawang positive muna. Ito negative. So, positive. Ito naman negative 1. Sige, try natin. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. 8 times x is equal to 8x. Pag i-add natin silang dalawa, positive 5x. E eh, kaso, negative 5x ang kailangan natin. So, most probably, pwede nating palitan ang kanilang sign para maging tama na. So, i-erase natin ito. Ayan. Okay. So, balik natin ang x. So, ito ay magiging negative 8. Ito ay positive 1. Okay. So, ito yung factors na sinasabi natin. Okay. So, Get the product of the outer terms. 3x times 1 is equal to 3x. Negative 8 times x is equal to negative 8, 8x. So, adding the two products, we have negative 5x. Ito na ngayon yung ating linear term. So, tama na ito ngayon. So, ibig sabihin, pwede ko nang i-erase ito kasi nga tama na ang mga factors. And then, we will now proceed to the zero product property. Okay. So, we are going to equate each factor to zero. Okay. So, we have transposed this. We have 3x is equal to 8. We need x. So, isolate it by dividing both sides by 3. So, we have 8 thirds. Okay. Then, we have x is equal to, transpose this becomes negative 1. So, the solutions are x equals 8 thirds and negative 1. How about item number 3? Okay, answer it again and then pause the video after, after answering, play the video again. Now, look at item number 3. The leading coefficient of x squared is negative. So, as what I've mentioned a while ago, mas maganda na magiging positive ang coefficient ng x squared. Kasi mas madali siyang i-factor. Okay, so anong gagawin natin dito? I-multiply natin lahat ng terms sa negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative 12x squared is positive 12x squared. Negative 1 times 8x equals negative 8x. Negative 1 times neg positive 15 is negative 15 equals 0. And then we prepare the two parentheses here and then our working area. Ano ang factors ng 12x squared? Okay, ito na. Pwede siyang maging 4x times 3x. Okay, look at this, negative. So most probably, isa sa kanila ay negative. So halimba ito negative. Ito, negative 4x and then 3x. Pwede rin maging 6x times negative 2x. Pwede rin negative 6x times 2x. Okay. Itry muna natin ito. So, we have 4x times 
Oh, bakit ito positive pala to lahat? Sorry, I was th thinking of the constant. Okay. So, we have here 4x at saka 3x. Okay. So, wala na ito. Okay. 4x at saka 3x muna. So, after that, we are going to think of the factors of negative 15. Any factors ng negative 15? So, we have, we could have 3 times 5. 1 must be negative, say negative 3. Or it could be negative 5 times positive 3. Okay, sige. Mauna na tayo sa negative 3 at saka 5. Okay, kailangan natin ng negative 8. Kung dito natin ilalagay si 5, okay, positive. Dito naman si negative, tingnan natin na. 4x times 5 is equal to 20x. Negative 3 times positive 3x is equal to negative 9x. I-add natin sila magiging 11x. So, hindi pwede. I-erase natin to. Okay. What if dito ang positive, pa, ang negative 3, at dito naman ang positive uh, 5. Okay. Get the product of the outer terms. 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x. 5 times 3 is 15x. So, klaro na hindi rin siya ang tamang factors kasi magiging 3x siya. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pwede yung 4x at saka 3x. Itatry natin ngayon si 6x at saka 2x. So, erase natin to. Okay. We need to prepare another set of parentheses. Okay. So, hindi mag-work out si 4x times 3x sa factors ng 12x. Let's try 6x at saka 2x. And then, let's try positive, negative 3 and positive 5. Okay. Ne positive, neg dito tayo titingin na hindi na sa original. Dito na tayo titingin. Negative 8x. So, ito, kung ilalagay natin dito si 5, masyadong malaki kasi magiging 30. So, what if dito si 5... At dito naman si negative 3. Okay. I think parang ito na ang tamang sagot. Negative 3, ito naman ay positive 5. Get the, get the product of the outer term. 6x times negative 3 is negative 8x. 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. Okay. Adding them, negative 18x plus 10x is equal to negative 8x. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung tamang factors natin. Okay? So, sometimes, medyo mahaba-haba yung process na ma-undergo mo kapag hindi mo agad maisip yung tama. Pero kapag nasanay ka ng trial and error, madali na lamang gawain ito. Okay? So, these are now the correct factors of 12x squared minus 8x minus 15. Okay? So, we'll now apply the zero product property by equating each factor to zero. So, transpose this. This becomes negative 5. And we have 6x. Isolate x by dividing both sides by 6. So, x is equal to negative 5 over 6. Same is true here. Transpose negative 3. It becomes positive 3. What's left here is positive 2x. We need x. So, isolate it by dividing both sides by 2. So, x now is equal to 3 halves. Okay? So, these are now the solutions of this um, quadratic equation. Now, for your seat work, which is graded, kindly answer this items 1, 2, 3, and four, and do not forget to pass it in our LMS or to me personally. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.